So we finally unpacked all the components of the chair and now we're gonna walk through how to assemble this fully step by step. So the first thing you're gonna do is attach the side of the legs into the center mount. There is a specific way they just clip in and you're gonna do each one the same way and then they just snap in place with a little bit of brute force. And once you do this, you'll have all the legs on. Then you're going to pop the wheels in. Again, the same thing requires a little bit of brute force to pop them in all the way so they're uh, seated in the um, like socket properly. And you're going to do all of them the same way, and you're going to flip it over. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put the gas shock in the center so it just sits in the center just like this. So on the bottom cushion, position the front facing sticker pointed towards the other front facing sticker, and then you're going to attach this mount with four screws, tighten them, them all the way. And then this just mounts onto the gas shock, and it doesn't require any screwing in to mount it. You just set it right in, and it fits nicely into the shock, and then you're able to move it up and down from there. So the next step is attaching the arms to the base. Each arm has two screws for the lower cushion, and then you'll have two screws for the upper cushion. So it's easier to do this with two people, but you could do this by yourself. As you can see here in the video, I'm trying to brace the rolling chair with my foot, and then also screw this in, line this up. So it's a little tricky by yourself, but can be done. Um, you're gonna put them in, both screws in, and tighten them down all the way on both sides. Then you're gonna mount the cover plate right over. I actually found that I had to add some double side sticky tape because it wasn't staying on. And then the next part is mounting the back cushion. You're gonna have two screws at the top, which you're gonna line up and screw in. The final thing you're gonna do is you're gonna mount the lumbar support adjustability with two screws right on the bottom cushion. And it's just a cable, so you need to make sure that's clean and out of the way. And then you are basically good to go. So the chair is assembled, you're gonna put these caps on, and then you're good to use it.